In this session, I'd like to explain the Eddington luminosities. So we have considered two equations of the hydrostatic and the mass conservations. We add the third equation of the energy transfers, radiative transfer equations. In the radiative transfer equation, temperature gradient is expressed this equation. And the radiation pressure is a function of temperature. 1 over 3, 80 to the fourth. So from the, this equation, if you consider the radiation pressure gradient with respect to R, this becomes 4 over 3, 80 cube, round T, round R. If you substitute this round T, round R here, you will get the equation, radiation pressures. is expressed in this we could combine with this equation, hydrostatic equation, dividing the both sides. Round P lat over round R is equal minus kappa rho over C F over 4 pi R squared. So divided by hydrostatic equation, round P, round R, is equal to minus rho gm over R square. Then rho is going to be cancelled out. R square is cancelled. Round R is going to be cancelled. So it becomes round P lot over round P equal kappa uh, f over 4 pi c g m okay we get this equation and the total pressures in a stars total pressure the sum of the gas pressures and radiation pressures. So small difference of the dp is expressed dp gas plus change of the radiation pressures. So if you divide the dp in the both sides, it becomes dp gas over dp dp radiations over dp. Uh, if the pressure is increasing in a stars, gas pressure is also increasing. So this has to be the positive. Then this part, radiation pressures dp, has to be smaller than 1. Because the uh, sum of the these two have to become the ones. So radiation pressure, derivative of the radiation pressure with respect to P have to be smaller than once. So we have these equations. Then radiation pressures, we also discovered these relations. It's going to be expressed. This one. So finally, we have these relations. So from the these equations, you can find that kappa f over 4 pi cgm is always smaller than 1. So if you consider total mass, so m is su at the surface of a star, m equals total mass and F is a luminosity. Then from the, these equations, you could find that the upper limit of the luminosity are given 4 pi Cg total mass of the stars divided by kappa. So we call this is Eddington luminosities. Upper limit of the luminosities. So this is going to be 30,000 if you consider the mass of the sun. 
So this is the Eddington, we call the Eddington luminosity, the upper limit for the stellar luminosities. So if you draw the HR diagrams, and the vertical line is a log L, horizontal line is a log T. So star appears on the HR diagram, main sequence stars. But there is an upper limit of the luminosity. This corresponds to the log Eddington luminosities. So we cannot find the stars above the, this Eddington luminosities. So this is the end of this session.